Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my girlfriend, but we'll be using multiversal skibbity mobs. But what my girlfriend doesn't know is I set up this one-way glass wall so I can see exactly what mob she spawns in. Well, anyway, Zoe, are you excited for today's multiversal skibbity mob battle? I am so excited. You are so going down this time. Uh, no way, Zoe. You're totally gonna lose. But how about this? You're gonna have five minutes to spawn in your first mob, so best of luck. Good luck, Dax. Okay, guys, and now we're on to the very first round of our mob battle. And what Zoe doesn't know is I set up this huge one-way glass wall so I can see exactly what mob she spawns. So let's go ahead and see. What mob is Zoe going to try and do for this first round? For this round, I think I'm going to do something I've never done before, which is utilizing the drill woman. And whoa, wait a second. Did Zoe just spawn in the drill woman? And wait, she actually looks kind of cool. Oh my gosh, she is so powerful. This is such a sleigh. I need to build a huge army. Okay, Zoe is spawning in a bunch of these drill women. But wait, if she spawned in the drill woman, what would be the perfect counter to this? And wait a second, I have the perfect idea. Yeah, if she spawned in the drill woman, why not just spawn in the drill man? Okay, let's go over to our chest and let's see where this one is. Okay, come on. I'm seeing a bunch of red things. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, in perfect. I think this is the spawn egg. Okay, let me go ahead and see how this guy looks. And whoa, he's so tall. But uh, wait a second. What in the world happened to his arms? Okay, his arms might look a little bit broken. But hey, at least he's like 20 times taller than the small drill woman. He can totally win this. He has like four super big drills on his back. And he has a super cool drill head. And man, he moves kind of fast. He for being super weird. But since I have a spawning now, I can probably just go ahead and spawn in a bunch of these guys. So let's start placing a bunch of them down all over our arena so we can totally beat Zoe. And uh, wait a second. Why in the world did this one spawn in with a chicken? That is so weird. You know what? Let me just this chicken and like throw it on the other side of the arena. You don't want to be involved in this fight. And what else could I do to make my drill man as strong as possible? And, oh, wait a second. I have a really good idea. What if I grab something called the mob enchantment book? And let's see which one of these do I want to use. And wait, speed actually sounds kind of cool. And now that I have this, this, basically all I have to do is walk up to any one of my mobs and just click on them and whoa look at that now he's going and man he's super fast this thing basically gives them like super speed so if I go around and give a bunch of my mobs these they're all gonna be really fast they're gonna be so fast that Zoe's mobs won't even be able to keep up with them so let's go around and start clicking on a bunch of these guys and perfect you know what why don't I even make the chicken enchant just because I can let me go ahead and do a few more of these and I really think that's good enough for my army I don't think I need to do any more of them I'm already totally gonna win this round but who do you guys think is gonna win this first round you can either comment drill me or you can comment drill woman. And actually, I do have one more good idea. What if I go over to Zoe's side and mess with her and her little weak army real quick? But in order to get over to Zoe's side, I need her to not be able to see me. So let me go ahead and grab something super cool. This thing is called the Cloak of Invisibility. And basically, as soon as you put it on, you become completely invisible. You can't even see what's in my hand. So now that we have this on, let's just walk over to Zoe's side and see how her army is looking. And whoa, it looks like she spawned in a bunch of these drill women. This round actually might be a little bit closer than I thought. Wow, my drill women are looking so so powerful, but I think I'm missing one thing in my army. Wait, did she say she's missing one thing in her army? I wonder what she could mean by that. I'm gonna spawn in a mutant zombie. Wait, did she just spawn in a mutant zombie? This isn't a multiversal skibbity mob. Oh yeah, this guy looks awesome. Oh no, guys, this isn't good. The mutant zombie's like extremely strong. And even if you take it out once, it just comes back to life. What am I gonna do about this? Okay, wait, I do have a good idea. What if I just go ahead and grab my mob killer and maybe this can like one shot kill it? Let me just walk up to him and come on and perfect i think i took him out what the heck my mutant zombie fell but it looks like he didn't die wait what oh my gosh he just got back up not even the mob killer can take him out this is awesome Ugh, you know whatever maybe if i can't take out the mutant zombie what if i just take out a few of these drill women i'm sure if her army's a lot smaller there's gonna be like no chance that zoe can win so let me start taking out a bunch of these wait what the heck why are my drill women falling oh gosh guys wait zoe was right behind me hopefully she doesn't get too suspicious of me i still have a lot left so i I don't think I need to spawn in anymore, but I have to keep an eye out in case any of them fall. Oh, wait. Okay. She's going to keep an eye out. So let me see. She's on that side of the arena. So what if I just do some damage on this very opposite? Come on. This is perfect. What the heck? They're falling on the opposite side? What the heck? How is Zoe so observant? How in the world does she even catch me? Now I need to spawn in more. Oh my gosh, guys. This is absolutely ridiculous. You know what? I think Zoe is just going to keep spawning in more mobs. So what if I just head back to my side and spawn in even more of my drill men? Okay, perfect. We're back over. Let me go ahead and take this invisibility cloak off. And then I can just spawn in more. And then we'll be able to see who's going to win this awesome round. Okay. 
Okay, Zoe. Well, I think my army's basically ready to go for this first round. Are you totally ready to lose? I'm totally ready to win. Well, we'll see about that. I'm dropping down the walls. And here we go. The walls have officially dropped. And Zoe, why in the world do you have a mutant zombie? Because he's like super strong. Duh. What the heck, Zoe? You literally can't use mobs that aren't skibbity bobs. He's way too strong. Look at this. He's just destroying my drill men. Whoa, drill men? I use the drill woman. What a coincidence. Yeah, that is such a coincidence. And oh my gosh, your mutant zombie's getting back up. Come on, guys. You can all jump her together. And honestly, my drill women are taking your drill men out. Uh, yeah, because they're all getting beat up by this stupid mutant zombie. It's like they don't even have a chance. Look, he's just flying in the air and punching them all. Yeah, but even if he wasn't here, I still think that I would win. Oh my gosh. And what the heck? He's gonna come again? This is like the fourth time he's gotten back up. This is ridiculous. He's just super OP. Maybe you should have spawned in one. Zoe, we're not spawning in any more mutant mobs after this round. This is totally cheating. Well, how was I supposed to know it's against the rules? Because this is a skibbity multiversal mob battle, not a normal mob battle. And perfect, we finally took him out. You finally took him out, but it looks like you only have two guys left. And I have so many drill mail women left. Oh no, this is not looking good. Come on, my last drill can do this. And no, he just got taken out. Oh yeah, team Zoe for the win. Zoe, you only won because you spawned that mutant zombie. You better not do that in the next round. Whatever, Dax. And if I do, what are you going to do about it? You know what? It doesn't even matter. You can spawn it as many as you want because I'm still going to win. What in the world, guys? I can't believe Zoe actually spawned that mutant zombie. That was literally so cheap of her. But whatever. It doesn't really make a difference. But I'm totally going to win this next round. So let's see. What is she going to try and spot it now? Ooh, there's so many good things in my chest. But I think I'm going to use this one. I'm going to spawn in the clock woman. Wait, did she just spawn in the clock woman? And whoa, she looks kind of lame. I can't even lie. Wait a sec. Why is her body so weird? It looks like her arms are forward, but her head is spinned around. What in the world is happening? This thing totally is messed up. I guess all these multiversal mobs must have gotten messed up when they came through the portal. I guess I just need to spawn in a really large army so I still win. Okay, she is spawning in a bunch of them, but guys, honestly, I'm not concerned about this. I think I can get that perfect counter. And if we're being honest, I think the drill man would have won last round, but Zoe spawned in that mutant zombie. So what if I do the counter to the clock woman as the clock man? And perfect. Now I have the spawn egg. Let me go ahead and put him down. And whoa, wait, this guy looks super cool. He is way bigger than those stupid clock women. He looks way stronger too. But uh, yeah, his arms are also messed up. I don't know what in the world happened to him. That is a little bit strange, but I guess I can go ahead and build an army just as big as Zoe's just to make sure I can totally win this round. And perfect. I think I spawned enough guys for this round. I'm totally going to beat Zoe. Zoe's army in, uh, wait a second. What in the world is that thing on Zoe's side? What the heck? Is this a portal? Where in the world did this portal even come from? I don't remember this coming from anywhere. Ooh, it's like a hallway and there's a chest at the end of it. Wait a second. There's a chest at the end of it. What in the world is even in that chest? Oh my gosh. There's a God potion. Wait, did Zoe just say there's a God potion? Uh, what in the world even is a God potion? This is exactly what I needed. I know exactly what to do with this. I'm going to splash it all over my mobs and it'll make them super powerful. Wait, what is this going to do? And oh my goodness, they just got so much bigger. Wait, they're even bigger than my clockmen now. Heck yeah, it's my lucky day. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely ridiculous. But wait, she says she found a god potion. So what if I sneak over there and get the same potion? Of course, I'm going to need my super cool cloak of invisibility. So let me just go ahead and throw this on. And now I can just walk over there. Man, it is so scary how big Zoe's mobs got. But look, now that she can't see me. I can just sneak inside of this portal and let's go ahead and see what's inside the chest. Hopefully I can also get a god potion and wait, what the heck? There's literally nothing inside the chest. Oh my gosh, there must have only been one potion. This totally sucks. What in the world am I gonna do now? And oh, uh, wait a second. Why in the world does this door look a little bit different? That's a little bit strange. It's almost like it's meant to be, it's almost like there's meant to be something behind it. Let me just go ahead and click on it and whoa, wait, it was a hidden door. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's inside of here and oh, look, there's another chest. And wait, inside of this chest, there's a potion. Come on, please be a god potion. And wait, just a size changer. What the heck am I going to do with this? Well, I mean, I guess I can just splash this on my clock, man. And maybe it'll get a lot bigger. Okay, let's go ahead and back to my side before Zoe catches on that I was in there. Okay, perfect. Now that I'm back over here, let's go ahead and splash this on a bunch of our mobs. And oh, uh, wait a second. Why are my guys shrinking? What in the world is this? Oh my gosh, the potion must have done the opposite of like a size changer, making them big. It made them super small. How am I supposed to win now? Oh no, guys, this isn't good. Come on. 
have to think of something that can help them out. And wait, my mom and Chan book isn't even that strong. It only makes them fast, which they really don't need now that they're all small. Dax, are you ready to drop the walls? Time's up. Oh, wait, uh, Zoe, I'm having a little bit of an issue with my mob. Can I have like uh, 30 more seconds, please? No, we're dropping the walls now. No, Zoe, you're not allowed to drop the walls. What are you even talking about? Too bad, Dax. I'm dropping them now. And what in the world, Zoe? You actually dropped the walls down? Of course I did. And whoa, your mobs are so small. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what happened. I was just messing with them and then they got super, super short out of nowhere. But it looks like they're still powerful. They're taking down my clock women. Wait, how in the world are they even so powerful? Come on, guys, you're doing great. What the heck? My god potion didn't even work. Wait, what did you say, Zoe? You had a god potion? No, I said, thank god. My mobs are still alive. Uh, okay, whatever, Zoe. It looks like you're gonna completely smack them this round. Honestly, I didn't even expect to win this one. Yeah, I didn't expect you to win either considering your mobs are tiny. Yeah, I know, but my guys pulled it off. They're just like super strong. They were super strong, but uh, Dax, where are you? Gosh, wait a second, guys. I still have my cloak of invisibility on. Uh, Zoe, what are you talking about? I can literally see you right now. How can you see me and I can't see you? Quick, guys, let me go ahead and take it off. See, Zoe, I'm literally right behind you. I've been standing behind you this whole time. Oh, Dax, I didn't see you there. Maybe I need to get my eyes checked. Yeah, maybe you do. But ha, the score is now one to one. So best of luck in the next round. And perfect, guys. We completely crushed Zoe in that round. I honestly can't believe we won. But honestly, I'm not going to complain about it either. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and see what Zoe's going to try to do for this third round. We need to keep the winning streak up. For this round, I think I'm going to do the alarm clock man. Wait, the alarm clock man? Who in the world is that? And whoa, this guy actually looks kind of cool. Whoa, this guy has like a suit and everything. He looks so fancy. Yeah, honestly, he does look a little bit fancy. And wait, he even has like a gold clock head. That's totally awesome. And whoa, it looks like Zoe's also spotting in a whole bunch of them, guys. Okay, since I've been getting really good counters before, I need to think of a really good counter for this round. And we did have the drill man before, but he was a little bit weak, if I'm being honest. So what if I find the armored version? Oh, it perfect. I think this is a spawning right here. Let me go ahead and see what this guy looks like. And whoa, he looks so cool. Wait, his arms are a little bit broken too, which is a little bit weird. But hey, he has a bunch of different armor on. He's like, an armored chest plate, a thing for his shoulders, and a thing for his hands. So I'm guessing if I spawned a bunch of these guys, I should be able to take out Zoe's army with no problems at all. And you guys, you know what? I thought about taking Zoe's god potion, but considering her people got super, super weak, I probably shouldn't use it. But I do have another really good idea of how I can make my mobs really big. I do have this one device called the personal shrinking device, but it doesn't only make things small. It can also make them super big. So if I go ahead and click on it, I can make anything as big as I want it. And I think I want to make my mobs two times the height that they are now. So let me go ahead and click on this guy and whoa, he got so much bigger, but he is a bit small. So what if I make this three times the height? Oh, this is going to be so crazy. And so he's going to be super surprised when you see how big my army is. I mean, we all know since they are getting bigger, they have to be so much stronger. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of them as big as we can. And perfect. I think I went and made a bunch of my guys as big as I wanted to. But since there's still a bunch of time left and my army's already done, what if I prank Zoe real quick? And using this one mod, I can transform into anything. And actually for this, I think I want to transform into a little cute wolf. Zoe is going to be so confused where this wolf came from. It's going to be totally hilarious. And perfect, guys. We made it over to Zoe's side. And whoa, her clockman actually looked really, really cool. Wow, I'm having so much fun in this mob battle. I have fun in every mob battle. Dex and I get to hang out. I get to win a few times. I just wish one of these times I could be the mob battle champion. Well, maybe if Zoe was actually better at mob battle, she'd be the mob battle champion. But let me go ahead and surprise her as a wolf. All they have to do is walk up right behind her. And perfect, I'll just sit right here. What the heck? heck is this little dog oh my gosh guys look she noticed me let me see if i can get a bone so i can tame him uh wait a second is she gonna try and tame me oh no guys those don't even work on me come here mr doggy i need to tame you uh no i don't want to be tamed by your bone please don't mess with me zoe why is he not taking the bone what the heck maybe he's someone else's dog oh wait a second she thinks i'm someone else's dog i guess that's pretty perfect or maybe it's just a glitch and he already is tamed i'm just gonna walk away and see if he follows me wait a second guys i have to act like i'm tamed let me go ahead and follow zoe real quick yeah it kind of looks like he's tamed he keeps following me now i need to run away where are you yeah he's following me oh my gosh guys zoe actually thinks she tamed me this is so funny i'm so happy that i finally have a pet okay perfect now that zoe thinks i'm her pet that means i can do a bunch of stuff and she won't even get mad at me so the first thing i want to do is attack one of these clock lights. maybe just go bite him real quick mr doggy no 
Oh, wait. I'm so sorry, Zoe. <laughs> I just took out her clock, man. Oh, my gosh. My first pet, and he's just a troublemaker. This is not good. Oh, man. Guys, this is totally perfect. Since I'm like a cute little dog, she wouldn't even get mad at me. Don't do that again, Mr. Doggy. Okay, let me just nod my head. Yes. What the heck? Did he just nod his head? Wait a second. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let me just act normal again. Wow. I have like the smartest dog ever. Oh, wait. She actually thinks I'm a smart dog? What if I go ahead and attack this clock man again? No. Uh. No, Mr. Doggy, stop. Oh, wait a second, guys. Just she yelled at me. This is a perfect chance to run away. I'm just gonna act like I'm super sad and go into this portal. Oh my gosh, Mr. Doggy went into the nether. Um, Mr. Doggy, what are you doing by the edge? Guys, this is perfect. I'm just gonna jump off. No, Mr. Doggy. Oh my gosh, guys. So he's gonna be so sad. No, I can't believe my dog just fell into the lava. Oh my gosh, guys. That was so funny. And Zoe is totally sad because she thinks she hurt her own dog. Okay, since she's all just trying. Now, let me go ahead and see if she's ready for this round to start. Okay, Zoe, well, are you ready for this next round and the mob battle to start? Yeah, I guess I'm ready. Uh, Zoe, why does it sound like you're crying? Because I had my first pet, Mr. Doggy, and then he went into the nether, and then he jumped off a cliff into lava. What the heck, Zoe? You sound like a horrible owner. I'm not a horrible owner. He just ran away. Whatever you say, Zoe. I'm just gonna drop the walls in this round. And here we go, Zoe. It looks like the round has started, and whoa, who did you see? spawn in the alarm clock man duh whoa the alarm clock man actually looks kind of cool but my armor people are way bigger so there's no way you can win this armor people whoa he looks like an armor drill yep he's the armor drill man he's super super strong he looks super cool and he's really huge uh yeah he's really huge because i spawned him in dax do you think he's better just because you spawned him in uh of course he's better because i spawned him in because i'm the best mob battle player ever yeah i seriously doubt that i've won the first round yeah you won the the first round but i won the second round and i'm gonna win the third round i don't think you are it looks like i still have a lot more mobs than you well i guess we'll see about that come on guys keep fighting keep fighting and oh wait what is happening to my drill men oh my gosh am i actually gonna win this round wait this is super close we both still have a lot of people left and anyone gonna pull this off come on i can't lose to zoe oh my gosh dax you only have a few people left what do you mean i only have a few i still have like at least seven people left seven yeah right come on guys we can win this and oh no my armored drill men are going down Oh no. oh no, your armor drill men are going down. And that means the alarm clock men are doing that. Come on, guys. Come on. Take them out. Take them out. Come on. And oh no, I think that was my last person. Oh yeah. That means Team Zoe wins. Whatever, Zoe. You literally just got lucky. Let's just move on to the next round. What in the world, guys? I can't believe I actually lost. I thought my armor drill men were going to be super strong. Well, I'm going to need to think of something really good for this round. So let me spy through the glass to see what Zoe's going to do. So there's only one more mob I can spawn in, and it's going to be my best one. The Titan Drill Man. Wait, did she say the Titan Drill Man? And whoa, this guy is huge. This guy is awesome. I love him. Although the yellow color, not my favorite. Yeah, honestly, I agree with Zoe. Yellow is a super ugly color, but what the heck? He's so ginormous. This is perfect, and I can build an army of them. Okay, guys, I need to think of something good, but what should I use? Is she spawning a Titan? Maybe I should also spawn in a Titan. Let's see. I should have the Titan Clockman somewhere. And oh, look at that, guys. There's the Titan Clockman. Let's go ahead and see what he looks like. And oh my goodness, he's huge. This guy is way bigger than the Titan Drillman, and he actually looks normal, except he is yellow and yellow is a super ugly color. But whatever, it doesn't even matter right now, guys. Let me go ahead and spawn in a bunch of these Titan Clockmen so I can totally destroy Zoe. Come on, come on, quick, quick. And wow, my army looks so strong. The Titan Clockman has to be the strongest character. Well, who do you guys think is gonna win this round? You can either comment Titan Clockman or you can comment Titan Drill Man. Okay, and I think I spotted enough of my Titan Clockman. There's no way I should be able to lose this round. And uh, wait, why does Zoe have a house on her side? Perfect, my house is complete and it has a purple rug. I'm gonna put a purple bed down and it's gonna be perfect. What in the world? Why did Zoe build a house in the middle of a mob? This literally makes no sense at all. But you know what? This does give me the perfect chance to pray her. So let me go ahead and throw my cloak of invisibility real quick. Now that I'm invisible, all I have to do is sneak over this wall just like this. And whoa, wait, her drummen are a lot bigger now that I'm here in person. But what the heck? I can't believe Zoe's actually in her house. And wait, did she put that on couch? Perfect. My chair is so comfy. I could take an afternoon nap. What in the world is wrong with her? You know what? Since she built a house, I think I'm gonna do a little something funny for her. What I'm gonna do is grab this thing called a diamond ore mine. Basically, it looks like a normal diamond ore, but it's 
soon as you break it, it'll totally blow up. And now let me go ahead and place down some signs outside of our house. That way she'll actually find the trail. I'll say go left for diamonds. And then I'll go ahead and put down a few more signs saying this way. I'll say this way right here. And then on top of these diamonds, I'll put down another sign that says break diamonds. Perfect. This is going to be so funny. And when she comes out of our house, she's totally going to fall for it. Oh, that was a good little nap. Now I think I need to go outside. Wait, why is she going outside? Now you know, it doesn't even matter. I think she sees the sign. Go left for diamonds. Huh? Which way is left? What the heck does Zoe not know which way is left? Oh my gosh. Let me go ahead and like place down some blocks so she knows to go this way. What the heck? I guess I didn't see these blocks earlier. Hey, look, another sign this way. Oh, perfect. And, oh, wait a second. Did whatever mob blow up the ore? What the heck? Where did this fire come from? Now there's a huge gaping hole on my side. What the heck, guys? I have no idea where this fire came from. Oh my gosh. Let me go ahead and get another ore that she can blow up. Let me just grab another diamond ore. And I guess I'll just place it down right there. What the heck? What is this? What the heck? Does she not know what diamonds are? Whoa, look. This one has to have diamonds in it. So I just got to break it. Then there'll be diamonds. Oh my gosh. She's going to break it. And whoa. No. What the the heck? I just fell. Oh my gosh, guys. Zoe actually fell for the diamond break. That was so funny. There was an explosion. This is totally not good. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so funny, but I think I pranked Zoe enough. Let me head back to my side real quick. Okay, Zoe. Well, I think I'm pretty much ready for this round. And let me just tell you, you're totally going to get smacked. Yeah, right, Dex. There's no way I'm going to get smacked. We'll see about that. I'm dropping down the wall. And here we go. The walls have officially dropped. And whoa, you spotted the Titan drill, man? Obviously, because he's super powerful. Uh, It doesn't look like he's that strong. My Titan Clockman is completely working him. Titan Clockman? That guy's super weak. Why would you even use him? Ah, uh, Zoe, is he weak? He's totally smacking all your drill men around. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, where did they all go? Ha, you only have one guy left. And uh, Zoe, why is there a big hole on your side? Because there was an explosion. First, someone enticed me with some diamonds. And then when I tried to dig them out, I exploded. Oh, that is totally weird, Zoe. I've never had that happen to me before. But you should have been focused on your army since they are losing after all. Consider yourself lucky that you haven't been through that. But yeah, my army's kind of dwindling. Come on, take out the last few of them. Come on, come on. And perfect. I think we won. What the heck? I lost. Hot Zoe. And that makes the score two to two. So now we have to move on to the tiebreaker round. And I'm going to win it. And let's go, guys. I completely destroyed Zoe in that round, which means we only have one round left that I have to win in order to be the mob battle champion. So let's go ahead and see. What is Zoe going to try and pull off? For this round, I think I'm just going to use all of my old mobs, considering I saved all of their spawn eggs. Wait, is she going to spawn in all her old mobs? Honestly, that's not too bad of an idea. And there's no way that Dax could ever think of something as clever as this, because I'm an ultra genius. Wait, does she really think I can't come up with anything as simple as this? Literally, Zoe, I'm just going to copy you. Wait, what was that really annoying noise I just heard? Wait, what the heck? Did Zoe hear me through the glass? Eh, whatever. Must be something on Dax's side. Oh gosh, guys, that was a little bit close. But since she is spawning all of her old people, let me go ahead and do the same thing. And of course, I'm going to spawn in a bunch of the Titan Clockmen, since that was like the strongest mob I had. Let me just make a whole row out of these guys. This is totally going to be the craziest round of the whole mob battle. Who do you guys think is going to end up winning this? You can either comment Team Dax or you can comment Team Zoe. Okay, Zoe, well, my army is basically ready to go for this next round. Are you totally ready to lose? I'm ready to win and be the mob battle champion. Well, we'll see about that. I'm dropping down the wall. And here we go. The final round has started. And whoa, you spotted all of your old mobs? Yeah, it's super powerful, right? Yeah, I mean, they are strong, but Zoe, I literally did the same thing. I think you copied my idea. What? You did the same thing? How could you ever come up with something like that? Uh, because I'm like a super ultra mega genius. How did you even come up with something like that? Because I'm a super ultra mega genius. Duh. Well, obviously not, because your army's totally getting smacked around, Zoe. I don't even think you stood a chance this round. Seriously? My army went down that quickly? Yeah, a bunch of them are getting taken out. It looks like you only have like a drill in the back over here and your last person got taken out over there. And man, Zoe, I don't even think you have anyone left. What the heck? It's because you have so many Titan Clockmen. Yeah, they are super OP. But either way, that means I win the entire mob battle since that was my third win. Whatever, Dax. Congratulations. And that was a crazy video. If you want to watch another one, make sure to click the video on screen. Bye, guys.